Deus in auditorium meum intende. Domine ad adjuvandum me festina. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Alleluia. Die luce redita, letis gratis que vocibus, Dei canamus gloriam, Christi fatentes gratiam, per quem creator omnium, diem noctem que condidit, eterna lege sansiens, ut semper succedant sibi. Vera lux fidelium, quem lex veterna non tenet, noctis nec ortu succident, eterno fulgens lumine. Presta pater ingenite, totum ducamus iugite, Christo placente es hunc diem, Sancto repleti spiritu. Amen. As morning breaks, we sing of your mercy, Lord, and night will find us proclaiming your fidelity. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night, on the ten-stringed lyre and the lute, with the murmuring sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad for the work of your hands I shout with joy O Lord how great are your works how deep are your designs the foolish man cannot know this and the fool cannot understand though the wicked spring up like grass and all who do evil thrive they are doomed to be eternally destroyed but you lord are eternally on high see how your enemies perish all doers of evil are scattered to me you give the wild ox's strength you anoint me with the purest oil my eyes look in triumph on my foes, my ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree, and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. Gloria Patri, et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. As morning breaks, we sing of your mercy, Lord, and night will find us.
proclaiming your fidelity. Extol the greatness of our God. Give ear, O heavens, while I speak. Let the earth hearken to the words of my mouth. May my instruction soak in like the rain, and my discourse permeate like the dew, like a downpour upon the grass, like a shower upon the crops. For I will sing the Lord's renown, O proclaim the greatness of our God, the rock, how faultless are his deeds, how right all his ways, a faithful God without deceit, how just and upright he is. Yet basely has he been treated by his degenerate children, a perverse and crooked race. Is the Lord to be thus repaid by you, O stupid and foolish people? Is he not your father who created you? Has he not made you and established you? Think back on the days of old, reflect on the years of age upon age. Ask your father, and he will inform you. Ask your elders, and they will tell you. When the Most High assigned the nations their heritage, when he parceled out the descendants of Adam, he set up the boundaries of the peoples after the number of the sons of God. While the Lord's own portion was Jacob, his hereditary share was Israel. He found them in a wilderness, a wasteland of howling desert. He shielded them and cared for them, guarding them as the apple of his eye. As an eagle incites its nestlings forth by hovering over its brood, so he spread his wings to receive them and bore them up on his pinions. The Lord alone was their leader, no strange God was with him. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Extol the greatness of our God, How wonderful is your name, O Lord, in all creation. How great is your name, O Lord, our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens, on the lips of children and of babes. You have found praise to foil your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind? Mortal man, that you care for him. Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him. Gave him power over the works of your hand. Put all things under his feet. All of them, sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Santo, sicut erat in principio 
et non cat semper, et in secula seculoro. Amen. How wonderful is your name, O Lord, in all creation. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. Bless your persecutors. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Have the same attitude towards all. Put away ambitious thoughts and associate with those who are lowly. It is my joy, O God, to praise you with song. It is my joy, O God, to praise you with song. To sing as I ponder your goodness, to praise you with song. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. It is my joy, O God, to praise you with song. Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. Let us celebrate the kindness and wisdom of Christ. He offers his love and understanding to all men, especially to the suffering. Perfect us in love, Lord. This morning we recall your resurrection, and we long for the benefits of your redemption. Perfect us in love, Lord. Grant that we bear witness to you today, Lord, and offer an acceptable gift to the Father through you. Perfect us in love, Lord. Enable us to see your image in all men and to serve you in them. Perfect us in love, Lord. Lord Jesus, you are the true vine and we are the branches. Allow us to remain in you, to bear much fruit and to give glory to the Father. Perfect us in love, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, we praise you with our lips and with our lives and hearts. Our very existence is a gift from you. To you we offer all that we have and are. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Maria. Dominus nos benedicat, et ab omni malo defendat, et ad vita perducat eternam. Amen.